Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Riz. Welcome back to my channel. First order of business. I definitely have on a shirt right now. I know that throughout this video, it's going to look like I don't, but I'm not naked because I don't do stuff like that. So anyway, today I finally filmed this highly requested hair tutorial this is a mold and go this is something that i do when i just absolutely don't have time or i really don't feel like doing my hair i just mold it sit under the dryer run my fingers through it and i'm out the door there's no curling there's no heat involved other than me sitting under the dryer so it's super duper easy and it's super quick let me just catch y'all up to date really quickly i cut my hair again yes i know oh my god like i just i can't stop I don't I, I really might be addicted to scissors but anyway I let my brother cut it Antoine Amy the one who I mentioned in my short hair Q&A um, I don't know why I did it I guess I was just sick of I don't know I don't know why I did it I think it's because I just really want my hair to grow out evenly and so that's what I had him do I had him even it up in the back and especially the front is super duper short and if I were to do a different hairstyle other than these waves or, you know, like straighten it, it would be super short. Like, I mean, I'm talking for real, for real pixie. Also, I wanted to mention really quickly that I did not use my Nairobi products today. I've been having to go to the store and re-up on my Nairobi products for the longest of time. And I don't know, I passed by my beauty supply store almost every day and I don't know why I haven't went to pick any up but I don't know anyway today I used my cream of nature argon oil styling mousse um this is not the Nairobi rapid shine but it works just I'm not gonna say just as well but it's it's a it's a foaming lotion let's just say that I also had to use a different leave-in conditioner and this is just the break uh, I don't what is this? This is just the Optimum Defy Breakage Leave-In Conditioner or Leave-In Strengthener is what it's called. And this came in the box kit that I mentioned in my short hair Q&A. Yes, I will link that video down below in the description box if you guys haven't seen it yet. Go check it out. And then the last thing that I use, I only use three products in my hair today. And for my moisturizer, I used my... Um, Cantu Shea Butter Daily Oil Moisturizer and that's the only thing that I used in my hair like I said it's super quick it's super simple please don't be discouraged if you do not know how to do the waves yet because I swear it has taken me the longest of time to finally master the art of the waves so it'll be a little easier if you have shorter hair like me but you can still achieve this look even if you have a longer pixie cut or whatever um this style isn't perfect and i didn't want to go for that perfect you know super duper sculpted finger wave look i just wanted it to be you know kind of soft and feminine so that's what we went for today i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did comment let me know what you want to see next let me know if you have any questions <sighs> This is all protocol, y'all. I didn't know what I'm about to say. Add me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, like my Facebook fan page, all of that good stuff. All right, bye. I'm going to start by dampening my hair with my spray bottle. And this is just water and I'm evenly distributing it throughout my whole head. Then I'm pouring a little bit of leave-in strengthener that I mentioned and I'm distributing that evenly as well. Now I'm using my rat tail comb to detangle my hair and make it nice and smooth. And the way that I'm combing it will prep for my mold and you want to comb it in the direction that you want it to lay. So since my heavy side is my right side, I'm combing majority of the front part of my hair to the right. That way the weight will automatically fall in place and you can't see, but I'm combing the sides and back especially straight down and there's not really a distinct part in the front. For this style, the part is very optional, and I just decided that I didn't want one this time. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to start the waves and I always start on this side with the least amount of weight on it which is my left side. So for waves basically all it is is you sculpting out C and S shapes in your hair. And the size of the waves is personal preference but for this look particularly it's more of a deep ocean wave so the waves are bigger inside. And as you can see I'm starting to make a C shape and then I'm bringing it right back to the front. So it's basically me just going back and forth the whole entire time. And like I said, it definitely takes a lot of practice and patience when it patience when it comes to this kind of hairstyle. So don't give up. Keep trying until you get it. And if you're really advanced, you can be fancy and make little swirls and add cute things to make the style unique. Then I'm going to move on to the other side and pretty much do the exact same thing except for on this side. The waves of course will be a little bit deeper since this is where majority of the weight is. So I'm going back and forth using my fingers to hold the last wave in place so it doesn't move. And I'm making S's all the way until I get to the end of my sideburns and once I get there I'm making a little swoop at the end that faces my eyes instead of my ears so this side will match the other side. Since the back is a little bit harder to do, I didn't speed it up so you guys could see everything I'm doing, but it's literally the exact same thing. C shapes and S shapes all the way to the bottom, and like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect at all, but you do want to make sure that you connect every wave instead of starting a new one. And you can see what I mean here after I finish a section, I pick back up where I left off and each wave is going in the same direction. And what you do with the hairline is optional. I tend to leave that alone and just let the waves fall off because it gives a soft feminine effect instead of having a harsh lineup. If everything looks the way you want it to look, go ahead and take your mesh wrap and put it on securely but not too tight to the point where it's going to mess up all the hard work you just did. Then go ahead and sit under the dryer. It takes me about 15 minutes to get dry so I usually just read a book, 
scroll through social media or devour a bag of my favorite chips <laughs> When you're completely dry, and I mean completely dry, make sure that you're dry all the way throughout your hair or this next step is not going to work. Go ahead and put a small amount of moisturizer in your hand and rub it together. Then begin to pat the moisturizer on top of your waves. Do not pull them apart with your finger or you're gonna be able to tell that this is a mold and gold, which is what we do not want. Then in the front of your hair, you can very gently comb out the waves and this is going to give a more realistic look like you didn't just come from under the dryer and then voila you're finished so here's a 360 look of the waves all around my head And that concludes the super easy and quick mold and go tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, share with everybody that you know. And I will talk to you all in my next video.